everyone, welcome back to the Hacksmutter Twitch channel, or if you're watching this after the fact, my YouTube channel. We just finished doing Flaws 1, and now we are starting Flaws Level 2. So you may have watched my previous series where we did Flaws 2, so there's like two versions of Flaws. We did the second version of Flaws first. Now we're doing the OG Flaws as we continue to learn AWS Pen Testing. We just finished Level 1, and we are going to start Level 2. So let's keep moving through. I have... Uh, looking over the time, guys, I have about 25 more minutes to hang out with you guys, so I'm not sure if we'll make it through level two or not, but we'll we'll see what we can learn in these 25 minutes. So lessons learned. On AWS, you can set up S3 buckets with all sorts of permissions and functionality, including using them to host static files. A number of people accidentally open them up with permissions that are too loose. Just like how you shouldn't allow directory listings of web servers, you shouldn't allow bucket listings. Examples of this problem. Directory listing of S3 bucket of legal robot and Shopify. Let's check these out. And please AWS may be associated with legal robot systems. It's possible to read data. Got $20. Nice. Shopify had was unintentionally left with directory listing enabled, even though the files in the bucket were all publicly accessible. It was not intended for the directory listing to be visible. Oh, that's like a summary. Got five hundred dollars, y'all. That's awesome. Very cool. Avoiding the mistake by default, S3 buckets are private and secure when they are created. To allow it to be accessed as a web page, I had to turn on static website hosting and change the public the bucket policy to allow everyone S3 get object privileges, which is fine if you plan to publicly host the bucket as a web page. But then to introduce the flaw, I changed the permissions to add everyone to have list permissions. Grantee everyone list permissions. That makes sense. Everyone means everyone on the internet. You can also list the file simply by going to this due to that list permission. And there you go. All right, level two. The next level is fairly similar with a slight twist. You're going to need your own AWS account for this. You just need the free tier. Well, what do you mean? What, <laughs> what's the, does it provide us with any information that we just need our own AWS account for this? And that brings us to the free tier. It doesn't give us any information. What? I have to see the hint because I don't know what it's asking. You need your own AWS key and you need to use the AWS CLI. Similar to the first level, you can discover this subdomain is hosted. Oh, this subdomain here is hosted as an S3 bucket. Its permissions are too loose, but you need your own AWS account to see what's inside. Oh, that's fine. That's just why you need it. And actually, if you do flaws two, so if you do the one that we did first, I know we're going out of order. We did flaws two and now we're doing flaws one. But if you do flaws two, you actually get access to an AWS account that you should be able to use for this challenge. So if I do AWS S3 profile flaws three, if you guys remember that, LS, and then this is the S3 bucket here. Like that, region, US East one. Oh, yeah, we don't want HTTP in our bucket name. Oh. Maybe not. Oh, I could just use my own. So I had to use my Cloud Goat one which is my own like sandbox AWS account. And then it worked very similar. We can see everyone, we can see the hints, we can see index, and we can of course see the secret right here. So we could just browse to this. We found the secret file. Let's jump to level three. Look at that. We did level two in like five minutes. Beautiful. <laughs> 